Hello, hello everyone. Greetings from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I just recently had an idea of a video I want to make or several videos that I want to make about uh, German sagas and legends. I thought it'd be fun, you know, me being from Germany and uh, rereading some of the stories that I read as uh, a kid. I thought it would be fun, so I thought today I start with the uh, story of Lorelei, and in the end of the video, I put a couple of pictures, so you can kind of picture Lorelei sitting on the rack. But here it goes. I, I'm a storyteller. I love telling stories too. I should mention. So Lorelei is an enormous rocky cliff that resides about 433 feet above water level in Germany. It's located on the left bank of the River Rhine. There were numerous legends, poems and songs dedicated to this rock. One of the most famous sagas was of a lady named Lorelei, who was the daughter of Old Father Rhein. The story of Lorelei was not easy to piece together for many of her stories were hard to date. Many elements of this folklore derived from a romantic poet novelist named Clemens Brentano. But the idea did not become favored until author Heinrich Heine published a poem called Die Lorelei. Lorelei was rumored to be a beautiful mermaid, a tounding siren, a nymph, and the water spirit. Some debate on her hair color, glowing golden, or sometimes, sometimes even copper red. In general, she had bright, eye catching hair. The mythology behind Lorelei created a wonderful inspiration to composers, painters, poets to design their own visions of the fable. Her tale tells her, her living in the depths of the river while smoothly singing tempting songs in the evenings while sitting on her rack. The heavy currents and small waterfall created a murmuring sound, which gave the rack its nickname, a murmuring rack, and an addition of a special echo that works as an amplifier for the mermaid's voice. Those who heard her lovely melodies easily became captivated in the spell, causing them to look track of time and where they were until the vessels would horrifically crash, the men drowning with them. She was, of course, an immortal creature, but she was also not a victim to love in Germany. One day she fell in love with the fisherman who returned the spark, allowing a romance to storm for several weeks. Lorelei also helped the man at fishing, until one day she heard of another young girl sharing a liking towards her handsome fisherman, and she became jealous. So jealous that she snatched her lover, rapidly pulling him to under the water palace, where, she, where he drowned as she forced him to stay with her forever. Doris ripped open a hole that she never could fill. So she continued her singing and caused countless men to lose their lives. Then a man named Count Ludwig, the son of the powerful Prince Palatine, heard of her and went to see her with his own eyes. Like others, he was smitten in a trance, causing him to lose everything, including his life. When his father found out, he immediately wanted to put an end to the tragic games. Even when she was surrounded by the prince's army, she didn't care. Believing her own father would protect her from any form of danger. Therefore, she dropped the pearls that hung around her neck into the depths of the water, awaiting a sherry to come. When it did, it drove her away in the deep depths of the sea to never be seen again. When it did, it drove, oh, no, I read this already, rumor has it that the distant murmur of her song can still be heard at her rug. Lorelei is a very compelling lore that has existed for countless years, though there is more than one variation of the legend. One version of the story doesn't end with the fisherman dying from 
from her fear of cheating, but more so that the fisherman actually left her, causing her deadly ritual after she waited for his return. Others also claim the bishop later assigned her to a nunnery for her crimes. Soon after, she received permission to view the Rhine River once again from her rug before she follows through. When she looked in, she, she believed she saw her lover in the water, causing her to fall into the monumental rug, uh, that she fell off the monumental rug to her death. Therefore, the rug retained the echo of her name after the incident. Another alternate ending would be that instead of getting a clean getaway from the warriors, she was actually a mortal who drowned during her escape and came back as a vengeful siren. Um, let's see what else. The next time you consider sailing down the ra ra river Rhine, don't let the hypnotizing lady Lorelei fool you. She's a sucker for love, but she's also a sucker for revenge. So I grew up not too far away uh, where the statue of the uh, Lorelei is. And I remember as a kid and as a young adult uh, making trips uh, to the area. It's a beautiful area by the Rhine River. If you ever have a chance to go to Germany, I hope you can visit the Rhine River and the Lorelei. There is so many more legends and sagas um, that we have in Germany. And I hope uh, I can share many more over the next couple of weeks and months. Uh, there was also a poem and a song written by a German poet. I don't have that now, but I have a short one. But if my ship, which sails tomorrow, should crash against these rocks, my sorrows I will drown before I die. It's you I see, not Lorelei. I hope you enjoy this little story about Lorelei and uh, and I'm gonna um, put a couple of pictures up before I end this video. Uh, if you're interested in hearing more stories, let me know. God bless. Take care. Tschüss. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. Hello. Before I share some uh, pictures from the Lorelei, I wanted to... Um, Read the translation of this beautiful Lorelei song. It's a song that is very well known in Germany that I know since my childhood, but I found the English translation and it's so beautiful. I just want to share with you. I do not know the reason why to sorrow I'm inclined. A story from the olden days is praying on my mind. Lights fading and the air is cool. And quiet flows the Rhine. The mountain tops still glow and as the sun's last rays decline. Seated up there gorgeous, a maid behind compare. Her golden jewelry glitters, she combs her golden hair. She comes in with a golden comb and sings a song betimes. A song with a strange melody with strange and powerful rhymes. The boatman in his little boat, gripped by a savage laugh, does not see the raggy reef, sees only what's above. I think the waves consume them, boat and boatman, by and by. And that's what with her singing was done by Lorelei. Okay, now I'm uh, adding those pictures, and with this, I say goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.